It's a blow for the arts across our state. Millions of dollars that would have supported arts groups failed to pass the Oregon legislature. And that left some local organizations with only a fraction of the money they needed, resulting in major consequences. Fox 12's Carly Olson explains. This week, one of Portland's oldest professional theater companies, the Artists' Repertory Theater, announced they had to fully cancel their upcoming season. This comes as their Southwest Portland building is undergoing major renovations. And they were about to start rehearsals for a new play. It all comes back to Salem, where House Bill 2459 failed to pass this legislative session. And the $50 million in recovery funding that was requested resulted in only $5.6 million being allocated. What was meant to help everybody ended up getting cut up by the time it reached the leadership uh, into these little sections uh, and very little of it passed. Jim Brunberg owns a variety of Portland venues and leads the Oregon Independent Venue Coalition. And he's seen firsthand how this loss is already impacting those he knows. Although my venues received grants and we're very grateful for that, we we're very lucky. A lot of the arts organizations that use my venues or that use P5 venues or that use some of the theaters and rent some of the theaters and are housed in these places, did not receive the operational grants that they need. A list of nearly 80 independent venues each got a cut of the remaining funds, but a short list of seven major organizations like the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, Oregon Ballet Theater, and the Portland Art Museum came away with nothing. This is a this is a real loss for our community. Representative Rob Nossi leads the Arts and Cultures Caucus. He was one of the main supporters of the bill, and the impacts of its failure are not lost on him. And the arts and performances are really one of the keys to getting people to hang around, patronize businesses in Portland. Nasi says the short session in February will be the next best opportunity to try to get more funding passed. But for now, the struggling venues are left without many options. These are dire circumstances because the main economic driver in a lot of these communities uh, is, is in serious trouble and they're cutting back on their programming. Some of them are closing for the season and some of them are talking about closing permanently. Carly Olson, Fox 12 Oregon.